Hello everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here looking at 1440p performance on the 2GB and 4GB versions of the GTX 960 and the R9 380. And we're kicking off here with a look at Far Cry 4 running at ultra settings on both cards. It's a remarkable state of affairs when you look at overall performance on the R9 380. The AMD card in its 4GB iteration is the clear performance leader, easily beating both the GTX 960s on test here. Unfortunately the 2GB version of the R9 380 has serious stuttering issues at this level with hitches in performance, sometimes exceeding 100 milliseconds. A lot of this stuttering is resolved by dropping down to 1080p, but gameplay is perfectly viable for this game at the much higher resolution, just as long as you have the full complement of 4 gigs of VRAM. Nvidia's 2 gig GTX 960 isn't as fast, but it doesn't stutter to anything like the same degree as its AMD counterpart, but once again the stutters that do occur are ironed out when you move to the higher capacity card. Similar to its showing at 1080p, Assassin's Creed Unity also effortlessly maxes out 2 gigs of VRAM, resulting in more dips in performance, this time on both AMD and Nvidia hardware. What's curious here is that the 4 gig GTX 960 is significantly faster than its 2 gigabyte equivalent here, even though the factory overclock in our gigabyte test sample is actually lower than the one in the MSI Gaming 2G card we're testing. Elsewhere there isn't a huge amount of evidence that 4 gigs offers that much of a tangible advantage over 2 gigs, but with the price difference between the two versions gradually falling, and the somewhat alarming frequency of poorly optimised PC ports, it's not just a good future proofing policy to get a card with more VRAM, but also an insurance of sorts against less impressive console ports. In terms of overall frame rates, the R9 380 is the performance leader in most titles. We like the GTX 960 for its frugality at the mains, and its ability to work well with less capable capable power supplies. The card typically needs just one 6-pin power input. Also, it's worth pointing out that our 4 gig 960 here is a really small, quiet card, making it ideal for smaller form factor PCs. And we paid £160 for it from Amazon, giving it price parity with some of the 2 gig models too. However, at the end of the day, performance is king, and while the AMD cards sometimes have some strange issues, check out the stutter in the city sections in The Witcher for example, you are getting a more capable performer overall. Anyway, we'll leave you with more benches to look at. Give us a like if if you found this video useful and subscribe to Digital Foundry to ensure that you don't miss a thing. But that's all we've got for now. Thanks for watching. Ambush! Clear the bridge! Yeah. 
This is your plan? Yeah. Come on, you bastards! Coming back, Irish. What are we gonna do? Hold on, man! Oh. Oh. 